Hello, I'm Robert, and you're welcome here in my busy little shop. On today's episode of What's on My Workbench, I've got a kind of a unique little project here that I'm going to work on, and it involves a knot that a lot of people look at, and they're like, how do you do that? So I thought, you know what, I will go ahead and work on this. And this project would be kind of under the caption of stay in your own lane, which means stay working on the stuff you normally do. But I have a, a customer of mine that said, you know, we this is damaged. Can you come up with a solution on it? And they did give me the option of replacing the straps with some leather on here. And I think I've got a different solution for that. So let's go over here on the workbench and we'll take a look at it. I do appreciate you taking time to be with me in the shop today. So what we have is some jewelry that they purchased on a, a trip and it meant a lot to them, but the loop has worn out. So there used to be a loop on here and it wore through and broke. So I did mention that they would let me make some leather to go on here, but I thought, you know what? I'm a sentimental person and I understand that. And so I, I'm going to see if we can uh, repair this and get a little more life out of it. And then at some point, maybe we'll come back and replace this cording that they thought was leather, but you can see it's got some weave in it here. Uh, so I don't know if it's just a coated uh, nylon. I don't know a whole lot about cording used in like the beading world, but uh, I could always come back and and do something with this later. But what I'm gonna do is there's wear here where it's rubbed against the metal, but I believe I can shift this and put this to where it's in a area where it's not as stressed like that. But then I need to come up with a solution on this end. And this knot here, uh, I call it a wrapping knot. So it's probably got, no, not the music, but it's probably got a, a more specific name. But let's cut this apart here, and uh, we're going to see if we can come up with a solution. I know, don't cut my finger. Or the cording. I don't want to lose any more of that than I have to here. Alright, now that I have this cut and the ends uh, cleaned up, I'm going to create a wrap here. Gonna overlap it about a half inch here. And I think to keep that from shifting, I'm gonna use some adhesive on here. And this is almost only just to hold it until I make my loop and get it uh, held in place to do the wraps on it. I think that'll work. Let me let this contact adhesive dry. I'm going to get the black one to the same point and then I'll come back. Okay, so the contact adhesive is set up here. I'm just going to align these two with the overlap I'm looking for. I'm going to overlap down to this fuse spot here, like that. All right. Now, all I'm going to do is make a, a loop here, and I know this area here has got quite a bit of wear on it, but I don't think that that's as big a deal as it may look like, because the reason why it broke on the other end is it wore through where the metal's at. Well, we've shifted that down, and this cord here on this side will help carry that weight. Like I said, if need be, I can make a new leather strip or get some cording to, to work with that. So I've got my loop formed here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create this, uh, what I call a whipping knot. It's kind of like a lashing here, and that'll make the loop for them to hook this onto. I can't remember the story. They told me the story about the, uh, about this breaking 
and I'm, I'm trying to remember, it may have been a honeymoon. I know it was a special trip. I remember that part of the story. So to create this hidden uh, knot, you start with a loop here. And I'm probably going to make a little bit longer lashing or whipping on here than they had. Hopefully I've got enough cordage here. I'm actually using my Tiger It's uh, 1.2 black here. All right. So on the end, away from the loop that I created here, we'll start here and we just work our way around here. Pull it down tight. And then we'll just lay wraps right next to each other here. And uh, tight is the name of the game here. Not too tight, because you'll see we have to be able to slide that inner thread. This is a good way to finish off the end of a rope that may uh, fray, especially one that you can't fuse by putting heat on it. down to this loop that I formed here when I started and we'll feed this in through there like that now if I didn't get this too tight I should be able to get a hold of this thread, and I'm going to pull this loop part of the way back in here. I've got it down in there. I just want to make sure I got it in there far enough. There we go. Now. We can trim both these ends. And I'm going to use my thread zapper, which will melt the end of it here a little bit. And if you mash it with your finger while it's still warm, it will smooth that out. so that it's not coarse against your skin. There we go. And I know there's some wear there, but it's got over 50% of it uh, still there. And I suppose I could wrap that further. And now we have a loop again and it's usable again. So I'm gonna do that with the black one here and then we'll be done. You know what, uh, an audible here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put wraps here. This cord here will carry the weight uh, or the strain of that, but that just doesn't look very nice. So I'm going to create a whipping here that covers that area as well. And then the two ends will, will match with whippings on both. go obviously uh, you know it's about a quarter inch shorter than it used to be so 
we'll get a uh, I'll get some feedback today when I hand this back off to them all right here we go so I went ahead and I added a wrap on this worn end where it was frayed but not worn through and I thought it actually did two things one is it balances out that look obviously it's more obvious on the fuchsia covered um, cording than the black but I think it kind of looks balanced there I don't know maybe it's a uh, uh, in our family we would say a little bit of a grandpa fix you know a way to make it work but it may not be exactly the prettiest thing but my guess is they'll be uh, happy with that well there you go I think they'll be extremely happy to have it back I really prefer to try to keep as much of the original material as possible when it first came up they told me they had uh, these that were leather with the little hook on there but it's obviously not leather and I could probably make some leather cording but I think this will meet their expectations and I'm gonna say I think it'll last at least as long as they've had it before so I appreciate you following along today on a I guess not really a leather project but just some fun little thing here and I really enjoy uh, I don't know why, but I like doing that wrap knot on the end of rope, and I think it was a great place for it on this project. Appreciate you being here and shop with me today. Please like, share, and subscribe, but more importantly, I hope you're having a great day.